Decent size one, huh? try doing my chest mount because it's hard to uh, net them when I'm holding a GoPro. Yeah, he's 
nice bite, a little bit of head shake. Try to wear him out before he hits the top so he doesn't go freak out and spit the hook. Do you want to net this one? I'll bring it over here. That's a nice one, yeah. Look at that guy. That's pretty fish. Look at that, nice and silver. Oh, you got another uh, another wild one too. Right on. Yeah, it's a little different up here out of water, isn't it? Yeah. That little resident coho. Tasty little morsel there. That's oh, good looking little fish. Yeah, we're catching salmon, aren't we? It's off. Keep catching on us. It's a good one, huh? Yeah, keep good tension on it. Hey, That's a nice one. Let me stop the boat. Look at that. Right on. He's got like a green mark. I know this is a thing. That's a decent sized fish. It looks like an old one. Look at this color. It's like a big rainbow down on this side. Yeah, that's a nice one. Hey, good job. Right on. Look at that guy. <laughs> He's beefy, he's heavy too. He pooped a little bit. Ready? <laughs> I like that you represent Fins West. Let me oh, get yeah. one more. Nice one. Let's get him on the GoPro too. Good deal. That's a good looking fish here. Right on. Take and drag. It's a big one. Yeah, this is a bigger one. We're in a good direction to no uh, boat in front of us. This is a bigger one. I'm going to play it slow so we don't lose it. Oh, yeah. I'll uh, follow the boat. Yeah, it's a good one. Good one. on the way out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Let me get my bonker. Good deal. Good deal. What a good day. That's awesome. It was worth the trip. Glad we did it. Ten. Six. Three. Coho. Wild. Not bad.
right, so I'm back at the store, and this morning I got to do some fishing with my son. He came up from Fort Lewis. He's in the Army. We got to spend some quality time down in Area 10 catching resident coho salmon. These guys are extremely fun to catch, and they are very tasty. So if you get a chance, go down to Area 10, get yourself some coho. And uh, later, I'm going to try to have myself a cook. Not quite sure what I'm going to cook, but uh, hopefully it's something good that I can post along with this video. And if you get a chance, come down to my store, 19th and Broadway, it's Fins West. And uh, I have performance fishing apparel. I have a line of Grundins. I have swimwear, cover-ups, beachwear. So come check it out, 19th and Broadway in Everett. And also on the web, I will have a link in the description below. So we will, or I will, talk to you soon. All right, so I'm back for a simple cook. Tonight's cook is brought to you by those tasty little resident coho salmon that my son and I caught. I'm cooking creamy Tuscan salmon. Never done it before. Got this recipe off of the internet. It looks good. I'm going to give it a try. But what it calls for is three fillets, spinach, yellow onion, garlic, heavy whipping cream, grated Parmesan cheese, olive oil, sun-dried tomatoes, parsley, vegetable broth, it says to put on salt and pepper, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to substitute that out for my favorite, Cajun's Choice. So I'm going to get everything preheated, everything chopped up, and I'll be back. I have my uh, salmon in the skillet, and I'm going to sprinkle with my Cajun's Choice. I'm going to cook it on both sides, and when it's ready, it says to take it out and set it aside and start with the sauce so once I sear it on both sides I don't think I'm gonna put it in the oven I think I'm just gonna cook it all in this pan but it says to cook on medium-high this is really soft salmon so I hope it doesn't fall apart let's we'll see how it goes I'm gonna turn it down a little bit I'll be right back Okay, I flipped it. It's looking pretty good. I don't want to cook it for too long and burn it. And I'm afraid to continue flipping it because I don't want it to fall apart. So make sure I have plenty of oil. Alright, so I did have some trouble with the salmon sticking to the bottom of the pan, so I don't think I had enough oil. But they are done, and like it, like the recipe says, I'm gonna set them aside and then add the rest of the ingredients. Next it says to add butter. I'm gonna add a nice chunk of butter. says to add the garlic now my garlic that I had gotten cloves were no good and I just bought them tonight too so I'm gonna use minced garlic instead so I don't know how much I put in here to equal five crushed cloves but I'm gonna I'm gonna put a fair amount in there and it says just let the butter and the garlic cook for about a minute think, and then it says to add the onions and cook the onions until they are translucent I think this is coming along nicely they're getting translucent so it says to add dried tomatoes and fry for one to two minutes so they release flavor. So there's the Alright, so I add the sun-dried tomatoes. I cook those for one to two minutes. And it says finally pour in the vegetable broth. So here's the vegetable broth. And then it says to add the heavy cream. So it says to add one and how much? 
One and three quarters cups seems like a lot. I need a little more. Okay, there's three quarters of a cup. Season the cream with salt and pepper. Now we're gonna do that with Cajun's Choice because that's my favorite on everything. So it says I need to bring it to a simmer. All right, so it's been simmering for a little while. I read back through the recipe and the directions and I think I'm doing it right. So a half cup of Parmesan cheese and then add the spinach. So as you cook that for a little while, let that, let the leaves wilt. So we'll see what that looks like. All right, it's been simmering a while. And it looks like the spinach leaves have wilted. So I'm gonna continue on to the next step. I'm gonna add the salmon back in. And then it says to spoon the sauce over the salmon. That looks really good. I probably should have put another piece of salmon in there. But I'll have plenty of sauce for another cook. Now it says parsley. Let the salmon heat up a little bit. A couple minutes, we'll dish it up and see what it tastes like. It's still boiling, but I'm gonna dish it up anyways and let it cool down. That looks really good. Put some more sun-dried tomatoes on there. Okay, well there it is. Creamy Tuscan salmon. Let's see what it tastes like. No, oh, that's not bad at all. That's pretty good. Resident Coho Area 10 Puget Sound. Got to do some fishing with my son. Came up from Fort Lewis. I am very happy. We had a good time. Continue to follow. Thank you for watching and we'll have a next adventure soon. Yeah.